What's up, everybody? I uh, fucked up on my stream and it didn't record the video. So I'm going to go back through this place with another character of mine. He'll be using dual hammers because fuck you, it's dual hammers. I love dual hammers. Alright, but anyway, here is, well, it's about to show it anyway. Carrier Manor. Carrier Manor? We're going to start off going to the right, working our way all the way around and to the left, all the way through this whole motherfucking thing. But instead of me using Grey Sword, I got these motherfuckers right here. And I hate these motherfuckers right here. Because they're the fucking worst. They still take so many hits just to kill. Even with the cool hammers. So, things you can get here. Basically, a shit ton of Sombering Stone 2s. We traded his right there. I hate these things so much. Trickies kind of just stay behind them, but they sit, since they have such a wide front, then it's a little hard to do. And since they try to, they back up on you, they do a lot of things to make it a little bit more difficult to circle straight them. So you just gotta find your opportunities. I will be coming in here with a dex weapon at one point, just to show how that's done too. But the thing with these dual hammers is I have very short reach. But I hit hard as fuck. Alright, if you notice the little swords on the ground, those are craps. Honestly, it's really hard to get hit by them, so... You can just run past them and nothing's gonna happen to you. Alright, so we got the big hands. And we got the small hands. And all the way over there, we have a... Ashes of War. I thought that motherfucker was about to climb up here. God, I love these Checking to see if I missed anything. There's something. Yoink. Rimmed? Rhymed? I really need glasses. He's gonna run right into that hand right there. Almost did. We can do a heavy attack. We don't want to go too far ahead or else it will grab you. Even if you do do a charge attack to it, like it's still going to grab you. This is something I have tested. Not on purpose thoroughly, but pretty fucking thoroughly. Yeah, 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 I knew I could do it. Ice Crest Cheat. Let's, see, let's check what that is real quick. I don't think I did that even on my stream. This is a small shield, 68 physical, 49 magic, weak to fire, weak to lightning, weak to holy. Not a great shield. Has no skill attached to it. Small metal round shield, heavier than a wooden shield, but boasts higher damage no negation. The Ice Crest originates from a Carrion Princess. Though the effect is slight, it boosts magic damage negation and resistance to frost. frost. Not something I'll be using. We don't have defense. Right. That's about one side done. I still need to go back into the middle. We look around. There's a motherfucker. He's fucking ripoffs from goddamn Legend of Zelda. Get down here. And he was just ready. He was just prepared for that shit. Like he's been doing this shit for years. Can't call it a comeback. This guy's got more experience than I do. He's been playing fucking. He's been in Legend of Zelda for so many years. 
jumping off walls and ceilings. That's his job. I know there's another one up here. I feel it. Alright, so up here we got tiny hands. Weapons are strong enough. They go right through them. This one's fucking looking for shelter. There he is! Okay. Alright. How are you still alive? Jesus fucking Christ is just when he died. I think one of my friends uh, most hated enemies are those little pests inside the cave you get teleported to near the dragon at the very beginning area. I forgot what the name is, the name of that cave is. But you got those rock eyes, and at the end you got the bullipede, and those little pests that shoot webbing at you, and just a fucking annoyance. These hands might be my best, like, my most hated enemy. God damn it, they annoy the shit out of me. Bring them both down here. There's one, there's two. Let's see if I can get one at a time. You can just let it reach you and roll back. It has to. It has a detonation period. Here we go, fuckface. That is such a reach right there. There's one. Only to get something that I already have way too much of. And you're next. God, I would just love to see an animation where I'm breaking his fucking fingers at this point. I hate these fucking guys. Another sniffing stone. I'm actually much lower level than uh, my other character that went, when I was here. This one is uh, 44, I think the other one was 55, so... Pretty sure there's other people that are way lower than I am, but I was exploring with this character earlier, so there he is. I remembered you. Uh huh. I would like to hit him, please. I don't know how I can dodge all my shit, but it's getting really fucking annoying. I feel like I'm fighting that fucking stupid witch again. Alright, so here we got a door. Don't know how to get in there from the from here yet. Use the bars to try and check. There's gotta be a way in here. Oh, of course. There we go. Fuck that guy. Hmm.
I'll have to figure this one out later. I'm going to try and keep this video down to an hour. Plus, since I'm so terrible at actually recording it on time, I'm going to try and do better. Alright, as you can see right here, they do come from underground, and you can see the fingernails. You want to stay on the fingernail side, just in case. This way you can get the drop on them, get the big attack. Remember to give yourself some space. Because they will grab you if you get too close. Like this guy right here. Ooh, almost walked into him. I want to kill these guys first. Because they can make you clinch and make these fucking ones a little bit harder. But if we can get the drop on them, we'll get the win. Fuck this guy. This one's a little harder, because you could, like, basically use your R2 and move into his hand. So you want to try and do it from an angle. You even then. So let's say you get grabbed like that. Don't just sit there and do nothing. Hit L1 and R1 as fast as you can. And begin hating these guys, because they don't fucking ever miss their fucking shots. I'm a little bitter. Especially after that shit. Jesus fucking Christ. Can you tell I have a hatred for those guys yet? It's fine though. We go directly to the left and I'll be able to pick up my shit. And I need to kill this guy. Because they're annoying. They'll come up and hit you in the back. While you're fighting one of these stupid fucking things. But you notice though, I was too close, got rolled up. So it absolutely happens. All they drop is like, this is all I see them ever drop. They give you so much of it. See if I can stun lock this guy. Yeah, how'd it feel this time on the other fucking side of it, bitch? As my brother would do. Yeah. Tea bag in a hand. Feel like that's somehow the most appropriate tea bag of all time. Oh, you're shitting me. And that's why we killed the small ones. Right fucking there. God. Fuck these things. Ugh. 
Look how many there are near this little, this big fucking hand. These are the little ones. Fucking assholes. I swear. All of them. I ain't got time for real focus. Another somber smithing stone. <sighs> and here's another asshole. Yep, out of knives. I got anything else? Oh, I got these knives. That'll work. We take those. Let's try that one again. Maybe not. Come over here. Got time for your bullshit. Now, a thing without eyes is going to be able to see me. Which is cool. So I'm just going to go for it. And he's going to back away just in time. How? How? I fucking hate this fucking thing. Okay. I fucking hate this thing. I hate it so much. Really? And got me through the goddamn wall. But we're almost done with this section. Be one of the most annoying session sections in this fucking game right now. Granted, it is probably a beginning section, but it doesn't stop it from being fucking annoying. And if you're thinking that beginning sections can't be fucking annoying, remember Blight Town? That was a fucking annoyance. There's also the swamp and Dark Souls 3. The swamp wasn't so bad. It was just annoying to go that slow. Blight Town. Oh, fuck Blight Town. Again, not that bad, but not that good either. All right, this next se section right here, not that hard, honestly. Did I level up? I can. I'll knock this out and get it out of the way. I don't want to be over leveled like my last character is and just fucking march over shit. I can understand if you like being over leveled and just getting that shit. Just, just decimating people and decimating things. But I like the challenge. What were you thinking, buddy? Alright, push fast this part. There are some sound cues that are going to tell you if somebody, like, spawns in. So soon, you'll hear one. There it is, right there. That's the sound cue. I think it's like the invasion sound cue. There it is right there. There's another one. There's another one, and here's another one.
Again, these guys aren't doing much damage. And now if these were the fucking hands up here, we'd have another fucking story on it. Just fucking breaking people with this shit. God damn. What's up, fuckers? Wow, he, uh, he was ready. Let's try that again. Eh, you weren't ready for that. I didn't even know what I was going to say after that. I'm not going to lie. This video was done earlier today. But, I want to keep the stream actually looking like I'm on schedule and doing stuff. You know, and not skipping anything or cheating. Which is why I had to go beat that uh, bullet peep boss two more times. Just to prove like, hey, yeah, I fucking did it. down for a little bit and if that happens again yeah I'll I'll beat it again with fucking oh shit I called this I said this part was not that hard and I'm getting my ass whooped right now okay that's fucking enough dude that's enough fucking stop Enough. Fucking stop. Now, those orbs right there. If they throw it close to you, roll to through the orbs, roll toward them. You do that because they're going to be shooting at the direction that you already are. So you're going to be able to just dodge those and use your inv invincibility frames to go right through them. I must go. My planet needs me. Alright. We can grab this. But we're not done down there yet. Figure we get the grace real quick. is a place to jump off. And it's right over here. Whoop. Alright, go down this way first. Really nothing all the way down there, I think. Pretty sure, since I was up here today. Another goddamn thing. Back up the steps. Over this way. These guys ain't shit. My aim ain't shit either. Fuck me, Jesus. Apparently, I'm not allowed to hit things. Alright, Yurumi, it is a steel whip. Well, steel bladed whip. whip. So basically, if you want to crossplay as IV from Soul Calibur, there you go. You got your weapon. This guy. Not as cool as I was hoping. I'm gonna fuck him up. I'm just gonna hurt his feelings. Or her feelings. Does look like he's wearing a dress. Yeah, damn, you do that shit forever, don't you? Again, if you're aggressive, sometimes that's the best course of action. Go in, fuck it up, be on your way. All right, all that is dead. And this puts it back at the beginning of this whole entire castle. Which makes me wonder, since I was just jumping through all these things, and these bridges I was on, I wonder if I can drop off of a building. Hmm. Let's test out that theory. Because there was that locked door. So, strong chance I can get in if I go through the ceiling.
take a look down. I don't know. I'm pretty sure those guys will spawn back in. Yep. Same place. I missed. I don't have the fucking great sword's girth to fucking rely on anymore. Alright, those are free. And I am rushing through this, so I'm not being nearly as careful. I have the next uh, thing I can go to, so I'm not going to concern myself with minor details such as getting hit by these guys. Hey, I got his home. Yep. You notice those uh, arrows curve. They will go for you. Hmm. Well, there's the top of that building. That's where I just was. Wow, somebody's fucking setting up combos. Why is this like the greatest enemy, like greatest jobber enemy I've fought so far? Let's try that again. Holy shit, how are you still alive? Okay. I think I know where I am. Yep, far side. I'm aiming for the building, I think, that's over through here. Like, this is where I'm looking for. Alright. I'm gonna have to go over there and try and jump off. I got 30 minutes. I can still do this. Find out. Let's go exploring. Trap sucks. Fuck you. Oh, wait. I think I found something here. Yep. Yep. Let's see if there's anything over here first. Oop. Hmm. All right then. Fucking nothing. Again, there's magic shit here, but I'm not using magic. First off, joy. Night, sword of night and flame. Okay. Now you have my erection. Intelligence and faith. Well, fuck me, Ronin. Has magic and fire. Street sword. A storied sword and treasure of Curia Manor. One of the le legendary armaments. Astrologers who preceded these yeah, preceded the sorcerers established themselves in mountaintops that near nearly touched the sky and considered the giant fire giants their neighbors. Night and flame stance. Hold the sword level and prepare to prepare to cast a sorcery. Follow up with a normal attack to cast a Night Comet sorcery, sorcery or a Strong Attack to sweep forward with a Burst of Flames. Holy shit. Let's just see what it looks like. That is quick. Wide slashes with one hand. Seems more like a slashing weapon. Absolutely. 
Oh, we do get a thrust with the one hand. Alright. And... If I was able to use this ship, we'd be seeing something cool right now. Oh, is that see-through? Yeah, it is. Look at that. That's cool. And see through the sword. Alright. Well, if you don't know, now you know. And now we can move on. You son of a bitch. I ain't got time for a fuck with that guy right now. Got 28 minutes in it. Like, damn it. Playing on borrow time. Borrow time. Oh, Tango. This is my dog. His name is Tango. He is perfect. He wants all the pets right now. Alright, moving on. He thinks I'm talking to him right now. Mm, poor puppy. You lay down. Can't do anything until that fucking message is gone. Love that part of the game. And he's just whooping my ass now. Appreciate that game. Very much. I, I love fucking just sitting there doing nothing at the beginning of a fight. Can't roll. Can't do anything. Usually most things that happen on this game are your fault. Like you didn't roll properly, you didn't time your, time your dodge, you didn't hit properly. Something along those lines. But that one, legitimately, is their fault. Alright, dude. Fucking stop your shit. Wolf was whooping the shit out of me. I was having a much easier time with the greatsword. But then again, I overleveled that shit completely. So. I like the part where we were just basically dancing and none of us actually hit him. There we go. That takes talent. Skill and talent right there. Fire ahead, that means somebody said hidden path. Watch her actually be something. But I'm not going back. It's not happening. There's no time. Alright. Behold, death. They're right. Because you got three sorcerers, a giant magic sorcerer knight, and basically you're just going to get flinched to all hell and fucking destroyed. So don't go that way. Make sure you're paying attention. We got a broken wall over here. We got a path over here. We can make this jump. And we got a ladder. Grab our item. More magic shit. This is useless to me. Just like that guy is useless to his fucking castle. This guy too. Fuck him. I don't know shit about him. Fuck that guy. We can sneak past the giant, and we want to. Here's why. Fuck that guy. Move past that. Fuck this guy.
I thought he was still alive. And we got this motherfucker. Here. I like how it turned away from him, so he the game wanted to make sure he was gonna be fine. I guess we gotta show off some of his moves. Not that upset him. Seek left, then circling around. This is a magic place, so you would think there would be more I don't know, hidden pads, but not so much. Hey, I am fucking showing people around here. Oh, fine. You had one left, you fucking prick. Break your goddamn attacks. Alright, since I'm not gonna be able to hit that head, might as well just do work. And then break his goddamn kneecap again. Gotta get out of there. Oh, fuck. Alright, another weapon Troll Knight Sword. Now, if you're somehow able to make this all the way over here, like go from the bottom all the way to the top, you can pick up this sword early. I mean, you can pick up almost any weapon early. This is an open world game, mate. so it's your choice of how you want to start the game. I have one of my game, one of my characters using uh, Nagi Nagigata. I think that's what it's called. Basically, is a sword spear hybrid uh, with like the katana on the end, has bleed damage. I went, you got a new character, went and picked that shit up, brought it all the way back to the beginning, and I'm going to play the game starting off with that weapon, because fuck it, I can. But this one, great sword embedded with a blue glint stone, weapon of the trolls in service of the royal family of Karia, called into service when the queen invoked an oath they swore, the trolls are treated as true knights of Karia and fight arm in arm with their human comrades. This one has trolls roar. Look into the distance and let out an intense roar, generating a powerful shockwave that blows back surrounding foes. Follow up with a strong attack to slam the armament down. We don't have the stats to do this. At all. We're purely fucking strength. Strength all day. All day. Ah, oh, shit. That's fine. I gotta kill this guy anyway. No, this guy first. Now you. You didn't have to wait your turn long, did you there, fucker? Alright, check what's over here. Ah, uh, shit. Nailed it. I feel like some people would be shocked at what some of the stuff like kids yet laugh at now. Like when you say nailed it, kids will just have like the shocked look on their face. I've said other things that like regular words and kids go nuts for them. I knew what they mean, but I didn't think they knew what they meant. I don't want to repeat them because I feel like the world and humanity would be disappointed in that one. Uh, if you go down this way. We can get all the way down there, and there is a, I think there's a sorcery or an art of war that we can grab. But, speaking of art of wars, we have one in here. Alright, we're going to go in here weak. But, where's the fun if I don't? Game on, fuckers. Just watch the swords, good rolls. She has a fucking pistol in the back of that thing, so be careful. We're just watching the knives. One simple roll can do it. Then we're going in. Takes about two to three seconds for those knives to go off. Yeah, see, right there. 
She has a shotgun in the back of that thing. Oh, I thought I jumped it. I'm gonna knock her off her or get, a, get the repose going in a second. I told you. Smile. Bitch. Get fucking destroyed. Draw him. All ten. So we got an Ash of War and we got Loretta's long bow or great bow. And we got a slash. I'm pretty sure that goes with the halberd or something. Let's see the other one. I might go in fuck around with this um, golem's halberd just because it's a strength weapon and I mean let's just look at it real quick. Look at this thing. I fucking just like the sound it makes. Feels like I'm chopping the air in half. Now it doesn't. Now it just feels like a, like it sounds like a wet fart. And then you have the R1. Fuck you, bitch ass. Yeah. And then you got the R2. Huh. Eh, so fucking silent. Even the second charge. I don't understand that shit. Like, it's so silent. I don't know if that's a glitch or something, but this one's like a fuck you sound. This one lets you know you mean fucking business. I just like how it looks, too. I can't use it. I am missing one dexterity. One. If I want to level it up, I could. I can absolutely use that shit. And I might. We'll see. If I'm feeling like I'm too strong with the hammers, I might just switch to that one. I don't know how many playthroughs there's been with people showing off dual hammers, but... Gotta be different than the greatsword. Everybody's using the greatsword. People love Berserk. Oh, I was wrong. Well, kind of. Back and forth. That one thing does give me the, uh... The ability to use it with if I have this uh, talisman on. See, there we go. Now I can use it. And let's look at the Ash of War and the Longbow. Used by Royal Knight Loretta. Creates a giant, a mag magic great bow and fires a great arrow charging enhance, enhances potency hold to keep the arrows knocked it is said that the bow was loretta's favored weapon and we go to the ashes of war wow, i don't have shit for this character i did speed through it so uh this ash war grants the armament the magic affinity and the following skill loretta's slash skill over loretta the royal knight Leap forward, imbuing the blade with glintstone, then descend, accelerating into a, a sweeping slash. Usable on pole arms and twin blades. I've only found one twin blade. I'm hoping I find more. Man, if there's all those seats around, Loretta would have got an ass whooped in front of an audience. Sadly, she's on like this is on my stream, so two to three people will be my audience. Ah, ah, self-deprecating humor, that's way too true. Oh, whoa, whoa, slow it, slow it down. Alright, we got three towers here. There are some missions in here. This one is Rena's Rise. I think Rena was the chick we met at night by the church, or is that Rhina? I can't remember. I thought Rhina the witch is the same name as the chick from who I keep calling Bridget Nielsen. What's that? Ho ho! Round three on dragons. I feel like this one's gonna be strong though. Come on, fucker! And I missed it. He didn't. 
Who's more ready to play than I am? That's what I was waiting on. I like how he's purple. Holy shit! Got the blue fire like the last one. You're doing different shit. I like this. The other two dragons were way too similar. Yeah, fuck your way. Where are you going? You fucking cock tease. Oh. You better come back stronger. Over here playing with my emotions. I can't take this. Offer warrior? And that was the second tower. We can go in there and check some stuff out, like, honestly. There's a whole mission that goes with this one. Dealing with, uh... I think this is where the chick with uh, blue hair looks like a tree is. I can ride my horse in here? Fuck yeah. Sadly, I only got to kill one... one little fucking thing. Not even enough to level up. Oh well. Up the stairs I go. Hey, look at that. Shortcut. I always check the bottom of the elevator. See if you can actually travel back through it. Up and up. Look at these fucking hammers. God, I like using hammers. Oh. Again we cross paths. Yeah, this I is the truth. I believe I said my name was Rena when last we met. It pleaseth me to see Torrent hale and hearty, but tarnished. What business hast thou here? I is her no left eye closed? The America invitation. chick that levels us up. Her, is, in her, isn't one of her eyes closed too? No reason in particular thou claimest. Intriguing. Then mayhaps fate hath steered thee to this reunion. Hmm. Wilt thou enter into my service? I am the witch Rani. I stole death long ago, and search now for the dark path, that I might one day upend the whole of it, and rid the world of all that came before. Well, has that roused thy interest? I see. Oh. I feel like she's the one that gets Dark Souls started with the Undead Hunts. a rare sword. Not many would have accepted the offer, but I require as much of those under my command. I anticipate good work from thee. Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is, in my service, a half-woven warrior by the name of Blythe. I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nocturne. Yeah, her eye is closed. The Eternal City. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Take from him the particulars. Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G., my war counselor, and Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts also. Heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them. What advantage thou canst. I'm sure the others will be doing just the same. 
Speak with the three. Thou needs not indulge them unduly. But it hath been a passing long time since it. Yeah, I think her eye is closed, and the girl who, uh. Our maiden. She has one of her eyes closed, too. I think there's something involved with that. And then again, I won't know for a while. Alright, before we can even leave this place, we do have to talk to all three of these guys. And there's the blacksmith guy. Oh, so you were the one. Lady Rani has explained everything. Again, I am Iji, the Karian royal family's dedicated blacksmith and Lady Rani's war counselor. I am told that you are searching for Nokron with Blythe. I will give you whatever guidance I can and pray for your success. Let us give all that we can of ourselves together for Lady Rani. All right. I want this guy's armor. And sword. I heard about you. I want all the things. Good to finally meet. Name's Blythe. Sworn sword to Mistress Rani. Glad to have you aboard. Well, getting right to business. I'm situated in Limgrave right now. The eternal city of Nokron lies somewhere at the bottom of this land. I'm planning to go below through the well in the mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron from there. All right. Now I got another quest. To go underground. I see. You must be Rani's new hire. This guy's a prick. Yes. Yes, I've heard all about you. I am Celibis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts. I don't know what it is the mistress sees in a provincial tarnished like you. But since we have the misfortune of serving the same lady, I ask that you kindly try not to drag us all down with you. This guy's a prick. I reside in another tower close by. Come and pay me a visit. Should you wish to be of actual service to Mistress Rami, if it were up to me, I wouldn't waste my time on the likes of you. But who am I to stand against the wishes of my lady? Now, I would probably kill him just for the way he's speaking to me. I know my brother would absolutely do it with a smile on his face. But I want to know what happens with the quest. He would do it and be like, fuck the quest. Fuck that guy. I do have to go back up here and talk to her before I can go. And I'm going to see if I can kill a monster or a boss monster in about five minutes. Right after I'm done talking to her. So if you stayed this long, well, at least you get a boss fight at the end. Ah, allow me to forewarn thee. I shall soon enter my slumber, and it will be some time before I wake. This doll's body is not without its hindrances. Still, I have high hopes for thee. I look forward to the good news when I arise. She's interesting. Alright. Now, pretty sure I didn't kill this guy. I got five minutes. I can do this in five minutes. I just got to do it the first time. So either I'm going to look good or I'm going to look like an asshole. Either way, I'm going for it. Because dual hammers are cool. And I did fuck up the uh, other dragon boss. With um, the salamander with the sword. With the dual hammers. Fucked him up. Got to repose twice. I don't think I got hit, but I forgot to record the goddamn thing. Because I'm really good at recording things. This guy is still here. Get a job. Let's fucking go. Hopefully I can re do a repeat. Four minutes. Ooh, that's a fucking hit. 
again, you want to kind of stay on his back legs, but if you're using double hammers, you're going for his face. We are absolutely motherfucking going for his face. Here's... This is not good. Oh, I missed it. He's gonna drag that thing back. I missed. I'm gonna go for it again. I missed again. Because I'm good. This game. Dodging him like a champ, though. Still didn't get the repose. There it is. Fuck you. And this is how we end this fight. Hey, I still have three minutes left. Hey, we got a sword. Why do I need to go back to the beginning when I can just exit right through here? Let's look at this sword. Where is this motherfucker? There it is. Katana forged of Plinstone. Masterpiece of a Celian swordsmith. Light and wreaths the blade when sheathed, explaining its moon veil moniker. Transcendent moonlight. Sheath blade holding it at the hip in a composed stance. Follow up with either a normal or a strong attack to draw the blade at great speed for an instant slash attack. Both fire uh, both fire a wave uh, fire off a wave of light. This one you need 12 strength, 18 dex, and 23 intelligence, and this will scale off your intelligence, mostly. This also does bleed, so I'm pretty sure that is like a PvP weapon. Alright. I don't know of any other bosses I might need to go kill, but I made that guy look like a bitch. Fucking got handled. And I was only level 46 when I did it. Ah, uh, let's throw some dexterity on. Alright, you guys. That's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you all later.